All right, all right, all right. Hey, friends, what's happening? What's shaking? What's going on? Well, this is Andy coming to you again from here at Andy's World of Bass. Today I'm going to do a demo for you with the instrument that I'm holding right now. I just got this in the FedEx, just brought it to me half an hour ago um, from Nashville, Tennessee. It was built for me by Bluesman Vintage Guitars. It's their DeVille model P bass. It's a, what they call a level three relicking, which is pretty heavy duty. Pretty heavy duty. It's got a lot of really, really cool, basically, like, you know, like it's been, had the living shit beat out of it for decades, which is what I wanted. And it's, it's so cool, like some of the special details, like right there, you know, the punk rock pick scrape. Um, I love it. You know, I love, I love, uh, I love relic guitars. You know, it's an art form and uh, Bluesman Vintage there, John Scott and, and, and his uh, guys down there in Nashville, they do a fantastic job of it. So this instrument was actually a collaboration. The pickups are Nordstrand NP4As provided by Nordstrand and the bridge is a hip shot vintage style bridge and it has hip shot reverse vintage style tuners provided by Hipshot. So we all kind of came together on this instrument. And uh, bouncing between 7.6 and 7.8. Thank you. 
the tone at like 95%. <laughs> like a P bass, you know, a, a, a great P bass should. Uh, of course, it feels like an old, perfectly worn and pair of slippers. It has a jazz bass spec uh, nut width on the neck, so it's like a jazz neck on a P body, or an A neck. Compression, I call it compression when you really dig in. Pickups in a little bit deeper, and the action's quite low. I just took it out of the took it out of the box. Here. I did put a set of my strings on it real quick, which are the Golly Synthesis uh, 45 to 105 nickel round wound Golly Synthesis. No weird sympathetic buzzes or behind the hand buzzes.
like to really test it to see if I can, how hard I can go at it, you know, how hard. Oh, the fan just turned on on this amp, so. I try to go hard on it, see how, how much energy I can put on it, you know. Um, I'm stoked. It's freaking amazing. I can't wait to take it out on gig and do a little bit of fine tuning with adjusting to my taste. Right now it's set up like 99% of the bass players on the planet probably like it, which is without much relief and low action pickups real close to the strings to have that magnetic field and have be a real real loud instrument and everything like that. But because I play so hard and I get so aggressive sometimes, um, I like relief, higher action. Uh, that's just me. And I like to sink the pickups down in the bass a bit more. Anyway, Thank you, John Scott. Thank you, everybody at Bluesman Vintage. This instrument is totally killer. Um, I'm in awe of how nice it is, really. Uh, I, I'm not really all that surprised, though, that it's that nice, because I have a couple other Bluesman Vintage bases that are very nice, and uh, I've been watching John evolve his company for a number of years, and when it comes to making really, really excellent relic types, I mean, that's not all they do, but, I mean, they do. <laughs> they do these relics great, and just the way that it, it, you know... I mean, it looks like some guy in a punk rock band played it in the, you know, 70s and 80s and uh, left it in the car in Minnesota a bunch of times, so the paint got all cold and cracked. And then they played with a pick and just... <laughs> and, you know buckle rash the shit out of it and it's 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 freaking awesome but the neck feels like complete butter wonderful instrument matching matching headstock one more look hopefully this is in focus nicely All these little things. I mean, that's like, that's like, that's like, you know, being just, you know, being used and abused. I love it. It's definitely not a, a, a mild relicking. This is a, a level three, which is what I told him. He said, well, how, how much relicking do you want on there, Andy? You know, we do it. Different, different amounts. I said, the more the merrier. And they hooked it up. It's, it, it's exactly what I wanted, but at the same time, it completely surpasses my expectations of awesomeness. So, you know, like, it's, it's just some details, like the three-ply uh, torque pick guard, the, the, the middle ply, the white, the white part is yellow. You know what I mean? Like, they don't miss little, little things like that. And they, you know, of course, they, you know, they, they aged all the hardware. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful instrument. Thank you so much, guys.